All right, and welcome everybody uh, here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this deck later. Uh, we have Grixis Discard that we're going to go ahead and play again. We had a lot of success with it the last time we played the deck, so uh, let's give it another try. Um, this is one of the more competitive decks that we play. Uh, this is a deck that I think is a, a pretty good deck to make for uh, if you're trying to climb the, the ranked ladder and everything. Um, I think that... Uh, like, overall, I think I, I like this version of Grixis more than other ones. We're, we're a very controlling deck um, where we're trying to empty our opponent's hand with Disinformation Campaign. That's why I'm calling it Grixis Discard. Uh, and uh, Thought Erasures. I'm, I'm playing this one Duress in the main deck as well. Wanting to empty our opponent's hand before we start dropping our threats, like Nicol Bolas and Angrath, uh, so that our opponents won't have answers to our threats anymore by the time um, uh, these bad boys come on down. Um, and then also, like, even if they have, like, their, like, one removal spell left in their hand whenever we play Bolas, Bolas can make them discard it. Same with Angrath kind of thing. So that's what we got. We got a real grindy deck here. Um, so that's, that's what you're, uh, that's what you're up to. This is what we got. So, Grixis discard. I think Ritual of Soot is a lot better in the main deck than, uh, Cry the Carnarium. I think that Ritual Soot is, is key to this deck, um, especially especially against Sultai. You know, like, basically I have the deck kind of built for, like, with, with Sultai in mind. Not kind of, just a lot. I have it, this deck is kind of built with Sultai in mind because um, that's why I'm not going with, like, counter magic because I don't think, he, like, with Grixis against Sultai, I think it's pretty hard to answer like their cards that are coming out and be able to hold up counter magic um especially when your early turns are like discovery and thought erasure cards that don't affect the battlefield so then your later turns you have to be affecting the battlefield so you can't really hold up counter magic so anyway so that's why we have a lot of um so that's why we need like the the hard sweepers like i want my ritual of sets to kill hydroid crises and do i duress here no, I'm, I'm saving this duress. Um, Hydroid Crasises and Wild Growth Walkers and, you know, like, all, all those kind of creatures. Cry of the Carnarium is just not a... not reliable. Um, we'll get rid of the fifth land. And Coil seems like a reasonable card. Yeah, I was thinking this was like a Soul Tide deck at first, too, and then Centaur Corsair. The job of Duress, it, like, let's just pretend this was a Soul Tide matchup, because that'll be a little bit more, uh, you know, important uh, for you. The job of Duress in, like, the Soul Tide matchup is to play it um, the turn before they can play Vivian is, like, the most, is, like, a really important time to be doing it, so they, they can't just drop a Vivian on you. Or, uh, if not, or you want to play it right before you, you play, like, your Nicol Bolas because you want to take, like, their Vrass's Contempt kind of thing. Sultai has other answers, of course, to Bolas with, like, Hostage Taker and Chupacabra and things like that. But um, that's, a, that's, like, the timing-wise. All right, so my decisions here are play the Campaign or, again, play the Duress because of Vivian. Creature, like, whatever creature they have does doesn't really matter because it's uh, and I even have like a contempt for a Vivian. Oh yeah, I got I gotta get Deckmaster. Uh, I forgot about that. Okay. I think I'm gonna campaign. All right, Deckmaster should be up now. Yeah, I figured we don't have to be as um, as worried about Honestly, I should maybe just nickel bolus there, make them discard their last card before Sid. Actually, I probably should Yeah, I probably should just bolus there. 
Because they could have had, like, something else pretty scary. Like, they could have, like, the five mana 10 10 or whatever. Yeah, or that thing. <laughs> oh, there's cat hair around here now. All right, so now it's time to start grinding the opponent out with discovery, disinformation campaign, and so on, and start going through uh, the deck. Now, don't don't use my blue source. Shocking here will put us down to seven. It's probably fine. We want to just keep on hitting land drops. Um, get to being able to activate this nickel bolus here in a little while. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's how you recognize me if my eyes are peeking over some fur. All right, one one second. Okay. All right, sorry. I wanted to check on Hawkeye there. There's a um, he was meowing a little bit, but he's fine. I was thinking that like, because I just fed him a little bit ago. I was thinking like that he couldn't get his food out of his bowl for some reason or something. I don't know. He's just snuggling up on the bed. He's all good. Um. Yeah, Gruel Frenzy is really nice. We'll be playing that one up next. And then we have a couple janky piles after that with goblins and vampires. Oh my. Alright, the opponent is at 12. So let's get this 12 12. It's a very convenient. Very convenient uh, power for our opponent's life total. Nice. Oh, I could have. Maybe I should have just dealt 10 to it with Nicol Bolas. Need a Bolas or a Squee emote? Um, let's get this main deck duress out of here. Do I want Cry of the Carnarium? I'll take the moment of craving for, like, you know, mana creatures and stuff. I mean, honestly, I don't, like... They're, them playing like the 10-10s and the 12-12s is honestly just really scary. I mean, I don't have a ton of answers to them. I have like the two Bedevils and the three Contempts. You know, like Ritual of Soot, Lava Coil. Those don't kill those really big creatures. I'm not playing Cast Down. So, I mean... We could certainly lose. It's possible. Possibly we lose to a, a mono green precon. You never know. We can kill our small things. In fact, you can say we can kill all the small things. It's 
Might as well let them, you know, we could have thought erasure the last turn, but might as well let them draw another card here first before we thought erasure. Because maybe like their big card is like that next that next one. Yeah, see this thing's scary. I take the Carnage Iron, right? Yeah, I suppose so. This thing costs six mana. Ow. <laughs> hey, what's up, Skyro? Got to get on that bit leaderboard. Take this one one and hit him with it. Yeah, if they have, if they have like line, yeah, if they have vine mare. Oh, don't have like some kind of hexproof thing. Your crew for okay. my. I was like, don't have some kind of hexproof thing and kill my angrath. A fair price. Yeah, that's true. Vine mare is amazing against my deck. I can't block it with Nikki B. Woo! No, no Vine Mare. Lucky. No fire, no steel. Hmm. That thing costs a lot of mana. Alright, I think we're fine from here now. Yeah, Blossoming Defense. That was a real good card. Even better than Dive Down. <laughs> yeah, no hide. No hide's a problem. No fire. I at least get to no like you know spend the mana and get to target no hide though. Yeah, you never like going disinformation campaign on turn three and them discarding a, a vine mare. Or sorry, a null hide. Hmm. Good game. Yeah, I want a lava coil my thing. Lava coil it, lava coil it. Gain control of it. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> Boom. I thought about contenting Nickel Balls in response. I thought about it. I like the the Angrath taking it. It's like you want nickel bolus? No, mine. My nickel bolus. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a mole again. Ugh. On the play with the one lander. Probably gotta got to, yeah, I probably gotta go down to five. This is a good hand though. I guess I'll try this one. Basically the same thing. We're just trading one campaign and the ritual of set for a, a nickel bolus. Hey Dr. Dance. Games are going good so far. I mean we just we just played against a green pre-con deck last time, so. Wasn't too interesting. 
and now we're on a mold of five. Looks like verse mono blue. Could be Drake's though, I suppose. Hmm, that's a lot of black mana that you, you cost. Don't kill me, opponent. No, our opponent's killing me. Ow. Don't need to show them anymore, we're dead. I'll just move on. Hey, Penumbra, thanks for that resub there for the ninth month. Nine month streak. Thank you so much, Penumbra. Oh, that's sub number four today? Oh, I missed one. We're almost at pack time already. Uh. Let's get... What am I doing in this matchup? Am I just cutting campaigns? Hmm. I want to cut Angrath, but I can't really cut Angrath, right? I'm going to cut Discovery. Like, I need, like, cards that... Like, I still need, like, win cons, right? Diva Sandy gets, like, outclassed pretty quickly by, you know, like, the their, their X4 Tempest Gen and stuff. And it's, like, real awkward then. Like, you have to, like, ritual sit away your Thieves Sandy, and it's, it's kind of a mess. Yeah, con Contempt is expensive, but I really like the, um, instant speed aspect of it. We have a whole lot of other cheap cards, you know. Having hard removal spells for their, you know, Tempest Gen or Terramander that's bigger is a pretty key. Well, our hand's not any good. Dress now or later? I'll just go ahead and dress now, because it'll kind of let me know of what I need to do with this lava coil. Dive down. Uh, it'll be like sep like the end of September, beginning of October, somewhere around there. I want to be able to have negate available through spell pierce. These were two not very good hands for us. <laughs> yeah. We got, got to play basically nothing game one and game two we were still playing nothing. Well, so our opponent didn't see very much of our deck. They only saw two blue red lands. So I certainly expect our opponent thinking that um, 
that we were is it Drake's. Um, and so that's why they have Essence Capture in their deck. For all I saw from my side, I would have thought I was Izzet Drake's. Seriously? Please play your other Tempest Gen. At least they're out of threats. Never mind. Draw protection. It's a little bit annoying. It's annoying because I wanted that negate to be able to protect a Nicol Bolas through the essence capture. Perfect. Perfect card. Best card. You're just no fire, no steel. Alright, now let's get this Bolas. No fire, no steel. Okay, get rid of that other essence capture. All right. Ooh. Now. Hmm. All right. Let's try it again. J45, don't don't use that language, please. Okay, going to game three. We've had two not so good hands. Um, but we'll see if we can get a. So now we're like due for the good hand, right? Do you think a single row would be playable over a third Angrath? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I prefer Angrath more. I, I like the. Like, I, I prefer the third Angrath over the first row, but it is pretty close, I think. Um, one thing about row, especially in a deck like this, especially like. Well, in, in this specific deck. Um, I've, I've played Rao before. You honestly really have to get, be worried about decking yourself with Rao. <laughs> Rao, like, goes through your deck uh, at a really fast rate. And it can be kind of rough, honestly. 
But I really like Angrath in this format. I think Angrath is uh, very good against Soltai, and um, you know that's what that's what a lot of the deck, the choices in the deck are um, with Soltai in mind. Dubs dive down. Disdain. Capture. So, obviously, don't care about capture. Um, I think I'm just going to take Disdain. And then uh, we'll see what our opponent does. Oh, please do not draw this land. Do not draw a 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 land. Yes. Okay. Whew. One turn too late. That land. If this gets spell pierce, it's like whatever, right? Like, if they if they showed a spell pierce here, I'd probably just take the spell pierce anyway. Oh, are they gonna sack the storm tamer? Wow. Wow. They wanted to protect something, some non-creature spell in their hand over here. So maybe they have like a. Maybe they have like a. I don't know, a retort or something? <laughs> Alright, well, Essence Captor does not counter Nicol Bolas now because they tapped their land. Yeah, Stormcrow. All, all good. Um, I. Uh, basically, I like Arena a lot more than Magic Online. Um, I think Arena is more fun to play. And also, I have, have a lot more viewers with Arena also. And so, like, those are two things, like, reasons why I don't play Modern anymore. And then the other thing is I actually I just like Standard more than Modern. Um, I, I really like Standard. Um, it is... It's a format that, that I enjoy, and... I've kind of actually always enjoyed... Standard. Um... But, you know, like, whenever I traveled on tournaments and everything, there was, they are just basically all modern, and so I just played all modern all the time. Um, but standard's more of the format for me. I really like mid-range magic, uh, and, and, um, this is, it's, it's a format I enjoy more than, you know, I'm, I've, I've never been one that's, that likes combo decks or not interacting with the opponent kind of thing, and that's, so much of modern is about that. You're welcome, Stormcrow. No, I, I. This is a deck I enjoy a lot, but it, I wouldn't say it's my favorite deck or anything. Um, I think Nia Legends right now is my favorite deck. I do play lots of decks. I mean, it's just kind of what happens whenever you stream seven hours every day. You know, you you play decks quite a bit. Um, I don't I don't know any spoilers about War of the Sparks. Um, I haven't heard anything about the set too much. I've heard, like, you know, like, there's been things going around of, like, that there could be, like, 30 Planeswalkers in the set or something like that. I don't know. I haven't played Nia... I haven't really been playing Nia Value. Um, Nia Value really struggles against the new version of Sultai, specifically Hydroid Crisis. And, you know, Finality's always been... Like, Finality was, like, the hardest card to beat before, but now Hydroid Crisis is a, is a real problem for the deck. Um, and I don't know. It just It's kind of getting outclassed uh, by Sultai. But maybe I need to brush it off and, and try it again, though. I haven't, haven't tried it in, you know, a month to six weeks or so. But I, I always... I, that was, like, my favorite deck. That was my favorite deck from last format. All right, the dress is pretty good here. So I get to duress instead of thought erasure. You might think that like just thought erasure is a better card to play this turn, but I actually like duress more because I want to save the thought erasure for after I campaign to be able to pick the campaign back up. Hmm. 
I guess Thought Erasure would have been able to take that war boss. But we we have Bedevil for the war boss. And of course we have to kill that thing immediately. Otherwise it'll just gain too much value. I may need to actually Thought Erasure here before campaign anyway though. I, I may just have to take this Siege Gang Commander. Yeah, M20 is going to come out this year. Um, it'll come out after War of the Spark. So War of the Spark is like the end of April. I think I just kind of need to take this Siege Gang. And then like sometime in like June. Um, is when you should when you should be ready for uh sometime like June, maybe July around there. Like June, July is like whenever M uh M20 will come out. All right, tough choices. Yeah, um, I think what's in standard.com, I think that's a site that can help you with, uh, rotation, with, like, rotations and stuff, like, to help. So I guess four set so M twenty twenty release date is seven twelve. So that's July, so July twelfth. Oh, cool. Hey, Div. Hope you're enjoying Magic. Yeah, we should be getting previews for War of the Spark. Well, pretty soon. Let's see. I guess it is still like seven weeks away before pre-release, so... Maybe in like another three weeks, usually like a month out. Maybe we get start starting one, so it'll be a, be a little bit still. That's a good one. Pick up these campaigns. I, of course, want to get my seventh land drop for Bolas. Um, Angrath is good too. Okay, cool. Coming over from, from Hearthstone. Nice. Yeah. Magic is an awesome, awesome game. I've been playing Magic for... Um, you know, I've been playing a whole lot of Magic for about... Close to 10 years now. Playing Magic here has been my full-time job and making... Producing content and stuff like that. It's been my full-time job since... Um... I guess summer of 2017. I was a high school teacher before that. Mm 
I think our opponent just has a shock in hand. For the other card. I've been streaming since around like summer of 2016. I was first partnered the end of 2016. Yeah, I liked being a teacher. Um, I like streaming and producing con producing magic content more. Ragdos Midrain's not so bad. This is the shock. Yep. I think it's a pretty reasonable deck. <laughs> Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. <laughs> Thanks, Skyrims. Um, yeah, I like the Rakdos deck. The fire's out, but the embers burn on. Um... I guess I I deal more damage. It's so like I can flip Bol I can flip Bolus, um, get back Angrath, steal the Chain Whirler. Um, I guess I do more damage though if I attack. Um, I could also just, I could also just get like their siege game commander. My power is boundless. I'm thinking siege game commander may be better than, than Angrath. I'm one mana away from. Yeah, if they draw another chain whirler, it's it's certainly annoying. Um, I get to throw one of these goblins at their face. I'm one man away from like playing new bolus and um playing new bolus and bolus and flipping it like even with the land drop. You have 10 mana next turn we need 11 for that. Actually, I like Contempt. Oh no. Yeah, I... It's, uh, Scepter chant decks were before... Before my time. I know what must be done. Stop. Alright, we could still draw another Angrath. Yeah, it's Nickel Bulls is minus four to get Angrath back. So we'll be able to get Angrath back the next next turn, but I like gaining that two life.
I'm oh, sorry, I missed the question earlier. What was the best technique to convey a message to your classes? Like, kind of activity um, or way to teach? I guess my way of teaching was a lot of, like, having my students practice. I, I taught math, and so we did just... It wasn't as much of me being up at the top, the front of the class and... Sorry, excuse me. I didn't do a whole lot of like me at the front of class, like uh, like having like showing them and them like and them seeing it a lot. You know, I obviously did some of that, but not not very much. I did a whole lot of like of like them doing the math work and, and going around and helping them out and everything. Um, So they could, you know, so they could actually, you know, do the work themselves. So a lot of the, the class time was them doing work and stuff. So I didn't really do homework very much. I wanted them doing the work in class and, and so I could, you know, see that they're the one doing it, not just copying it from a friend and, and stuff like that. Um, anyway, we had a big donation from J. Jack Jr. That was amazing. Thank you so much, J. Jack Jr. for that donation I really do appreciate that getting some hype in the chat there all right so we have about 40 seconds here to sideboard for um we're playing Rakdos mid-range let's get these things in um this thing as well I'm gonna take the duress out I kind of like all of my cards. I'm trimming one discovery and one disinformation campaign. Don't know exactly why. Because I kind of like all of my cards. No, none of them do, Kanake. Nick. Um, man, I don't know why it's only got like this weird head cold. I like lava coil. Um, I don't think I want to keep this hand though. No, I'll I'll keep. Six card hands can be pretty rough. Okay. So yeah, anyway, J. Jack Jr., thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Uh, Carvalho. Um, in high school was the last subject in math. Um, usually the last one. I guess the last one's, depending on, like, you know, different students finish up with a different one, but it's usually, like, pre-calculus or, or calculus. Those are usually the, the senior... Uh, classes. Um, you know, of course, it varies by student, though. Favorite artwork on a card? Actually, uh, I have a little bit of a different one. I actually really like Disinf... Or, sorry, that's Disinformation Campaign. <laughs> I really like Days Undoing. Um, I think Days Undoing is... Um, maybe my favorite art. That's the one that kind of sticks out to me. Yeah. I know, like, that's like the one that, um... Aw, thanks, J. Jack. There's, there's the, the picture of it there. That's the, that's like one card that, like, whenever I saw the preview, like, whenever Magic Origins was coming out, I was just like, whoa, that card looks sweet. So that's the the first one to come to the top of my mind here. But so so many uh, cards have good art. Magic art is just incredible. I mean, I do like Lava Coil. 
I'm expecting our opponent to have, like, Eldest Reborns or something. I kind of want to just keep this Lava Coil. Yeah, I'll keep it. It's a good card. I don't have any use for it too much right now, but I'm sure I will in the in the future. I could Bolus here. Make them discard, and then they use removal on Bolus. Nah, it's if they have Eldest Reborn, then I don't want to get that started. I want to take an Eldest Reborn first. That's probably the card I'm most scared of from them right now. I'm not too... Not really too worried about those things. So yeah, what what are your uh, favorite arts? I have Mass Court from Urza's Destiny. Um, that's a good one. Hey, MTG Nerd Girl, welcome back. I haven't seen you on stream in a little while. Uh, let's see. Let's. Yeah, Catacombs gonna come into play on tabs. We're good. Angelic Destiny. That's a great one. That's a really good one. Surgical Extraction was your favorite. Nice. Oh, you're in LA for the Magic th Fest. Did you play like in, in the GP, in like the main event? And how'd that go and everything? Worship? Which which worship? Because I, I like the Urza's, Urza's Saga um, one. Ah, yep, there you go. Thanks, J-Jack. Electro Gates. Nice. Okay, good. You only know there is a saga one. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's that's the best one. Uh, yeah, worship has a few different arts. Um, it's got reprinted in in core sets, and everything. Cabal therapist is your favorite. The new card, huh? Ooh, John Avon's forest. Good choice. Um, yeah, I kind of do just want to land. Gifts Ungiven. Devouring Strassus? I don't even know that card. What is that card? Oh, from Invasion? Oh, actually, I had that card when I was a kid. Ever seen Water Burn? I had I had a smaller collection whenever I was a kid. I, I did play a little bit, in like, right around there, right around in, in like, Invasion block. Um, no like fire, Nemesis, whenever no that set was. Um, but I did. I just played with like some friends at, at school and stuff. I didn't go to like tournaments or anything like that. Didn't start playing seriously or, or anything like that um, until like World Wake. So whenever people ask when I started playing, I say World Wake, even though I played a little bit as a kid. And yeah, I remembered that art on Devouring Strassus. I recognize that card. Ooh, the Omniscience Masterpiece. OG Goblin Welder, that's a good one. Blows temper the blade, hmm. swine. No fire. I know I could steal the war no boss steel. and make my own um make my own token, but I think I'd rather just keep Angrath's uh, loyalty high and also clear their hand, uh, get rid of whatever their other card is, and get rid of this coil uh, for the bolus. <laughs> okay, cool. Got some Tempo Storm studio stuff and networking coverage stuff. Okay. Hey, that's still a good weekend. Are you streaming tonight? You got the night shift? Um, land does let us flip bolus, so we'll keep it on top. All right, cool. Nurgle's got the no night shift, fire, so no steel. After I'm done streaming tonight, we'll be 
send the raid her way so y'all get to go watch her stream when I'm finished up. Which will be in a while. You know, that's not for a while. I got another good. This is a match. Six to seven hours. Yeah, whenever I'm done playing these 60 card decks, you'll come watch you for some 40 card. If you have two cards of the same name in hand and your opponent has seen one of them, it doesn't matter which one you play. The game will hide the other from the opponent. Correct. That is all. Those are all correct statements. Yes. Ugin the Spirit Dragon is a, is a really nice art. That's a good one. Hmm. But I have this Cry of the Carnarium I was going to use to kill all your creatures. I didn't even get to do that. All right, during that match, we did get to our fifth sub of the day. Um, so we got to our first sub goal, so that means it is pack time. Let's crack a pack. Let's see. So M19 and Ixalan are like the two sets that, that we still need rares in. Let's go with Ixalan to start with. We'll do M19 for the next one. Rare wild card. I'll take it. All right, and we are three now. Three and O. Oh. So if y'all uh, didn't know, tomorrow we're doing a twelve-hour stream from eleven to eleven Eastern Standard Time. Uh, for the sub goal stream, twelve hour stream that um, I owed y'all from before, from from my birthday, whenever we hit a sub goal there. Um, our next twelve hour streams are whenever we get to two thousand YouTube subscribers. Let's see where we're at now. Um, seventeen seventeen. So don't forget to go follow that YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash Todd Stevens MTG. And also doing a 12-hour uh, stream whenever we get uh, 10 people supporting through Quip. Quip is an amazing electric toothbrush. If you need an electric uh, an electric toothbrush, check out Quip. It's the best toothbrush I've ever had um, myself. Absolutely love it. Um, and uh, if you go through my referral link, not only uh, do you get your first refill for free, but you also get a free donation deck. That's why we have like goblins later on today. That was a donation deck from somebody signing up uh, for Quip. So get yourself a toothbrush, get a donation deck, get a free refill for um, a new toothbrush head and toothpaste after three months as well. All of that for the same price as doing a, a donation deck to start with. So go through my link there and check out Quip. You also get a, a cool notification that comes up on the screen. Yep, every single slot is open for tomorrow for a donation deck. Um, any slot you want from 11 to 11. I don't have anything on the schedule right now, so whenever you want. All right, we got Esper Control. Yeah, these ritual sets are looking real bad. But our opponent's probably chilling with like their uh, similar removal that is not so good. The biggest um, downside is our opponent has Search for Escanta and we don't. And Search for Escanta is a very good card. Um... So I can either just campaign, but then I don't get to do anything else, or I can bolus. Let's let's just campaign. I think our opponent's inciting. But okay, that's a counter spell, that's fine. Next turn we we do still get to discovery plus a disinformation campaign, because I don't really expect them to counter the discovery. But yeah, this this is a matchup that we get to really tune our deck after sideboarding. Um, you know, we have duresses, we have negates. We have Thief of Sanities, Unmoored Ego, if we want it to take Teferi. We have 
kind of most most everything in our sideboard. It's good here. Yeah, we could dispersal as Kanta, but they would have to have a clear hand before uh, that really works. Ugh. Not the card I wanted them to have. Use no time for a break. We do have a ton of like these removal spells that are just awful in this matchup that we need to sideboard out. Our deck's kind of filled with them. Well, that's a card I can't beat. Let's skip to the good part. All right, we need Bolas or Angrath. That's not Bolas nor Angrath. Bzz. All right, we're going one more turn. Hey, what's up, Boot? I don't have any Sphinx of Foresight deck. I actually have never played Sphinx of Foresight in Standard. That's a card I actually have not played at all. You know what? I'm not done yet. <laughs> yep, top right. Okay, so we got uh, Duresses, Negates, Diva Sanities, Egos, Coil, and Soots. So we had 12 cards to bring in, only that's 8 to take out. Hmm, maybe no Ego? I don't know, Egoing Teferi is pretty backbreaking. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to I don't want to cut all the removal. I mean I have I have Bedevils and Contempt still. Um Maybe I can't fit in on more Ego. We also have like Eldest Reborn that can get back like my things. I don't think I can fit this in. Because all these other cards are good. And then I'll take out one Contempt. We still have four removal spells. And then I gotta cut one more card still. Like what, like a Bolus? No. Hmm. Yeah, I guess a discovery, I guess. Or could be like an Angrath or a Bolas. Like I guess a discovery. Now like Thief Ton, I don't want to cut any thieves. Thieves like my Yeah, maybe maybe my main win con here. Oh, J. Jack, you donated for a Wilderness Reclamation deck? I just realized that. Uh, I don't want to play a Wilderness Reclamation deck. 
It's a card I've never played before, and I don't really want to play it. I was just looking at, just looking at the deck. I could see holding up Negate here being the better play. Looking for some kind of threat. Alright, Angrath counts. We need, you know, more mana to be able to play Angrath. Plus, have a counter spell. I just ditched two of. If I play the Thought Rager here, it just gets absorbed. I don't need to use my. Let my opponent have the. You know, be able to absorb there. I, I did ditch two of my four removal spells, so one Bedevil, one Contempt. So I only have I only have one each now of those. I should wait a turn here. I should wait a turn there, so that I could have double negate. rid of the devil because I want I need to find something to you know like win the game kind of thing I was looking for things to win the game with and like be able to protect him with negates which is kind of where I'm still at oh yeah they certainly have more counter magic I don't think I can ditch this Bedevil after already ditching two removal spells. I don't really want it, but I just don't think we can afford to get rid of it. The problem is if I bedevil that they may not counter it. Like I, I want, I would want to bedevil and them counter it, and then untap and Angrath steal this, That'd, and be able to have negate available. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. Hmm. Your crew for my freedom. Certainly consider not con countering that to be able to have a counter for their Teferi. But we have the Bedevil that we can, like, Bedevil plus negate. I can no longer stand by. Yeah, we'll see if they talk. Watch. Uh. That's annoying. Keep up wow. the pace. No tuck. 
No fire, no steel. I should probably cast the, the cover up first. So I get to... I, th I think I need to do this before they would tuck the Angrath. And I want... I think I want all of these discoveries back so I can, you know, rifle through my deck and, and find more win cons kind of thing. And Discovery is real good with picking up the campaign also. Hurry! I hope they got a counter spell. Dang it. I was hoping they got a counter spell that we got to just get rid of it. Get rid of. So I could just dispersal and get rid of the Teferi. I guess that's what I want to do. No fire, no steel. No Escanta, please. No fire. Well, the rest isn't no doing a whole lot for steel. us. No fire, no steel. They could draw like a Chemist's Insight or something that draws them more cards. No fire, no steel. There's no fire and no steel happening. Alright, we got game two. So now game three. Oh yeah, we only had three discoveries in our deck. <laughs> discoveries were pretty good. Oh, the deck. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. I I have the wrong deck on the the deck list command. Thanks. There we go. Deck list command updated. I kind of want to get that discovery in the deck. What if I cut a campaign? Is that crazy? Is discovery better than campaign? Eh, it's probably crazy. Yeah, ego for Teferi is is pretty nice. I just don't really have room for ego um, here. I think that I think ego would would have to probably replace campaign. I think. Not, I really like dress. I don't want to cut dress. Get that Ascanta out of here. What you doing, opponent? Trying to Ascanta? Dang it. I need land. Unfortunately. So they can cover up. Oh, wow. They just don't have the land for cover up. This is what our deck does. Turn one, discard. Turn two, discard. Turn three, discard. Turn four, discard. Turn five, what do you think is going to happen? I think you guessed it. Discard. No fire, no steel. They can't handle that. They have three lands. They don't have. They don't even have a hand and, and just three lands. Which card? 
No, no hand. They had no mana base because they had to get rid of all their cards. All right, four and zero. That is that was a very satisfying game. <laughs> but it's uninstalling right now. That was a very. So that's why I don't know if we even have room for ego. Our deck's pretty good against control after board. Whew. Um. All right, final boss. We have an extra life as well against this final boss. Yeah, we got two shots. Yes, if, if you get copy five or more for commons and uncommon, you get a uh, slight progress to, uh, towards something called the vault. And eventually, when you get enough of them, you'll have the vault. The vault will open. Um, you'll see the vault will just appear in the top right hand corner of your screen when you have enough progress. You need 900 vault points uh, to open the vault. Uh, an extra common is worth one point, and an extra com uncommon is worth three points. Um, so it takes a while to get it. But whenever you do open up the vault, you'll get a mythic wild card. Two rare wild cards and three uncommon wild cards. More information about all of that can be found at this site. Here. Um, hmm. See, that's really not that bad. Not that bad, right? Sure, we need blue mana. We this hand has a, a really low floor, of course. We could just draw all spells and not do anything, but it's a pretty reasonable hand. If we Okay, that's a good card. Down, 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 down. Gates. Do I want contempt? I may need like this contempt for the ram. Yeah, let's let's keep it. It's safe it's safe to keep it. It's safer if we keep it. At least. So, J-Jack, do you have a different deck you want me to play that's not a Wilderness Reclamation deck? Pretty please. Angel hits it. Oh, no. Ooh, no lands. It's a good card to draw. I really want to find Angrath. Angrath's like the, the card that can finish this game out. Then you draw one one gate to be able to have Gates of Blaze kill my Bolas.
All right, Ritual of Soot also gets rid of the uh, Gatebreaker Ram, so now I get to save Contempt for a Colossus. Uh, they finally drew that gate. I was hoping we could we could just dodge one more turn. Oh, they didn't they didn't play a blaze. We can flip Bolus. The problem with flipping Bolus is they would they kill Bolus? Yeah, I guess they would kill Bolus. Because they would just have haste haste colossus. Oh. Angrath, where are you at? Hmm. Alright, so this is my plan. I attack him for four, they're at eight. I flip bolus. And kill this ram. No one and now that they're they're very incentivized to play this gate colossus. Die. And attack Nicol Bolas for 8 with the Gate Colossus. And then if they do that, then I get to Angrath, steal their Colossus, and hit them for 8. Knew it. Played right into our hands. Yeah, fell right into our trap. They needed to gate to blaze the previous turn instead of ram. Oh, a cheap victory. <laughs> Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> a fair price. All right, got game one. Um. This is gonna be a tough match. This can be a tough matchup for us, for for sure though. Like Guild Summit can just draw him so many cards and everything. I don't think we're necessarily favored here. We're probably not favored. Um. So I I do like duress negate. Diva Sandy is awesome. Maybe I don't need all these dresses in the gates. If I ego Colossus, they'll just kill me with something else. They have they have too many cards. If Ego and Guild Summit would be the card I'd want to Ego if I was going to Ego anything. But they just have too many cards that are, are really good for me to play a, a um, card like Unmored Ego. Soot is certainly a way to kill the Ram. And the Ram's a, a really big problem. I need, I need answers to the Ram. I kind of need to keep my Soots in. I think I may have to just cut campaign. And so since I cut campaign, I, I trimmed discovery and I trimmed wonder S. Sand's not very impressive, but it's not a mulligan. It's not a very impactful hand, though. No, I have not played the Biomancer's Familiar combo deck yet. I haven't haven't made that deck yet. All right, we'll see how many answers they have. I'll have Thiefus Andy, and then Bolus, and then Bolus. I 
I don't believe they have a Gates of Blaze, because I feel like if they had a Gates of Blaze, they probably would have just cast it the previous turn. Alright, let's see if they have Circuitous Route to take. There's a Circuitous Route. Oh no, that's a Crushing Canopy. So they have Rhythm. Another Summit. We have one Contempt so far for a Colossus. Ooh. That's good. I can get rid of another Colossus. So now I can uh, Bolas and Thought Erasure, or Bolas and Negate. Double spell. Ooh. Colossus. One, two, three, four, five. It costs three mana. I'm not sure what I want to what I'd want to uh, Thought Razor away. Yep, probably need to erasure Krasis. Krasis is certainly the card that... So it's so Krasis would be a 4-4. Four, four. They put a counter on it, it's a 5-5. Five, five. I mean, they, they still have the guild summon if they want to draw cards. Um... So, like, if I take the Colossus, they probably go, like, Guild Summit or, or Krasis or something. Hmm. It's going to be kind of difficult to beat this hand. That's a good card. That's a good card. I wish I had another land. It's only a win if they go Colossuses. If, if they go with the two Colossus, they're dead. Um, which it looks like that's what they're wanting to do. If they go with the just the Krasis, they're not dead yet. I 
I guess they could go Colossus plus Krasis. Yeah, they do that. All right. Well, that, that'll kill him. That's all the game's over. Here be monsters. Your crew. That was a really good. <laughs> two really good games. Two really close games. And that's a 5 0. Quick 5 0. Hey, what's up, Sway? All right. Deck was pretty impressive. Yeah. I liked that main deck duress. I think it, it did some stuff in, in some game ones. I didn't feel like we needed Doom Whisper at all, but like Doom Whisper is, is really better against like some of the aggro decks like mono red, mono white, stuff like that. Um to be able to put a clock on the opponent. Um Yeah, they were dead if they didn't attack. They or I guess if they didn't attack at all, I guess you're right. If they didn't attack at all, they were not dead. I guess you're right. I was thinking they could have blocked, but they could have, could have blocked the eight eight. Um, we had we had some fast hands there of like having Nicol Bolas on turn four, both of those games. That's why it looked fast for a control deck. Um, there are certainly a lot of other games where it takes you a really long time to win because you you don't find like you know we only have seven cards that can deal damage. So if we don't have those cards early. Um, Stream Decker should be working. There it goes. It's just, you know, it only does like the, the exclamation point deck every so often. So, like, once, so somebody did it a little while ago. So, it usually makes you wait like an entire minute or so before it, it does it again, kind of thing. Yeah, it just has, has to reset. Um,. I talked about Ral before. Um, I don't. I like the third Angrath even over the first Ral. Um, Ral is okay and everything, but um, I just think Angrath is really good in this format, and I just I just think it's a really good uh, card for this deck. Um, and it does, you know, Angrath wins games. Ral can win games with the ultimate, but when I when when I've played Ral in this deck before. I'd find myself uh, getting into spots, especially against like other other decks that interact a lot, especially against like Sultai and stuff, where I had to stop just using Ral because I was just gonna I was just milling myself out and um, and I was pretty disappointed with it. Then of course you have like other times where if like Ral can't kill something, like if, if they have a Krasis that's too big that your Ral can't minus and kill it, it's really annoying. Where Angrath gets to kill the Krasis as always. Um, yeah, I, I love disinformation campaign. I think it's a great card. Um, I think campaign is awesome against Sultai, and that's what that's what the deck is really has in mind is beating Sultai because I think that's like a, a pretty tough matchup for Grixis. It's like a difficult. That's a difficulty with Grixis is finding a, a deck that beats Sultai, and this is um, I like our I like how this deck is tuned for the Sultai matchup. Um, I don't think, yeah, like playing against Sultai, I, <laughs> Sultai is not the easiest matchup for Grixis. Sultai is not the easiest matchup for any deck. If, if you, if you have a deck and you believe Sultai is the easiest matchup, you're probably kidding yourself. Sultai is just such a, such a strong deck. Uh, n I would not take out Ritual of Soots because that's Ritual of Soot is a complete necessi uh, necessity in the deck. Because look at our earlier plays: we have Thought Erasure, we have Discovery, 
Um, we have Searcher as Kanta. Like, these are the cards we're usually playing on turn two. We have, like, Campaign as well. Most of our cards on turn two and three, you know, everything besides Coil and Bedevil, all of our other cards do not affect the battlefield at all. So while you're going Thought Erasure into Disinformation Campaign, your opponent's playing Merfolk Branchwalker into Jade Light Ranger, you're just going to be behind on the battlefield all of the time, and you really need all these Ritual Soots uh, to be able to catch up. They are, they're crucial when you're playing so many cards that are not that don't affect the battlefield i mean like they're not creatures that we're putting on the battlefield they're not removal spells you know we have all these ways that we're attacking the hand but that means that we're really far behind and you need ritual of sets um yeah it's a must um um i don't even I, I kind of like like this 60 against Sultai also. Like, I, I don't know if you even need to sideboard. Um, Duress and Negate are, are options there, though. I would not be bringing in Thief of Sanity against Sultai. Um, but I, I think you can kind of run this. Coil, though, Coil's not as good this format as it was this the previous format because of Krasis, because Krasis can get a lot bigger than Coil. Um, exiling, though, is, is clutch. You know, like, find finality... Uh, is really annoying, especially find. So getting the, the cards exiled, um, the early creatures exiled, is, is pretty important. Um, and, you know, you play against other decks with, like, Rekindling Phoenixes and stuff like that. Specifically, how I have this removal, Adanto Vanguard is a problematic card because of how I have this this removal. Um, so I'm not as good against Mono White because of that. That's just kind of the price I'm paying here. Um, but a lot of the removal that's good against Adanto Vanguard, like Moment and Cry, are not good against Wild Growth Walker or Hydroid Crisis, um, and so on. So, there we go. Um, all right, so if you're watching this deck later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for our next video.